Hey Super Kids, welcome to Children's Church. Today it's a special day for us. It's Palm Sunday. Do you know what Palm Sunday is? Well, I'm going to tell you. Long time ago, Jesus and his disciples were going to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. And Jesus was riding on a donkey. And as he entered the city of Jerusalem, the people there were happy and excited to see him such that they started waving palm branches and they started shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Do you want to shout with me? Say Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Awesome. This is a great, though this is a special time for us as children of God because this is the beginning of a time when Jesus was crucified or when Jesus was put to death to die for our sins. The good news is he died and he rose again. So this week, it's what we call the Holy Week, the beginning of the Holy Week. Okay, before we jump into today's story, do you guys still remember what the letter B stands for? B stands for awesome. B stands for brave because God helps us to be brave. And today we are going to learn more about our King Jesus. Enjoy. Oh, hi kids. I didn't see you there. I was too focused on this yucky garbage bag. I can't believe it. My friends are having a party and I said I would help to show how much I care. I thought, you know, I could decorate with balloons and streamers. I could make the invitations and put lots of glitter on them. but. They asked me to clean the room, and it's disgusting. There's dirty dishes everywhere and trash, and even food lying around that's been there for a long time. It's disgusting. Can you show me the face you make whenever something smells bad? Yeah, I think I have the dirtiest job ever. I better get this garbage bag out of here before it makes this room stink. Hey, there's a Bible. I love reading the Bible because it's so full of true stories about Jesus. And there's also some other stuff here. There's a towel, a basin, and water. I wonder what that's for. I think I have time for one story, don't you? All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, here's a great story. It's found in John chapter 13, verse 1 through 17. It's a story about a good friend. Do you know who the good friend is? I'll give you a hint. He's the best friend ever. Yes, it's Jesus. All right, let's see how Jesus was a good friend in our story today. Jesus and his friends had just walked a long time. And you know, Way back in Jesus' time, they didn't have sneakers or boots. They only had sandals. And they had to walk everywhere. And there were no tar roads. So they just walked on dirty roads all the time. I bet their feet got dirty and stinky. Show me your stinky face. All right. So, one night, Jesus and his friends were celebrating the Passover meal part of a very special holiday. So Passover is a... Uh, Passover, we... Okay. We celebrate Passover every year because it reminds us how God rescued the Israelites out of Egypt when they were slaves. So Jesus and his friends would get together every year and celebrate and eat this special meal together to remember that God protects us and he saves us. While they were sitting at the table, Jesus did something most people would never do. He got a bowl and put water in it. I bet it was something like this. What do you think he did with the water then? Let's find out. He started washing his friend's feet. Ew! 
Their feet were all stinky and gross after walking that whole way there. Show me your stinky face. At first, his friends told him not to do it. Let the servants do it, they said. It's their job. But Jesus said, no, I must wash your feet. So he washed all of their feet. And there were 12 of them. That's a lot of dirty, stinky feet. He washed it with the water in the bucket, and he dried their feet with a towel. I bet that's what this was for. So he dried them off, and he washed their feet so they were all fresh and clean. Would you want to wash the dirty feet of your friends? No, most people wouldn't. But Jesus did, because he's such a great friend. And you know what's even better? He's your friend too. Yes, Jesus wants to be your friend. So when I say, who is your friend? I want you to say, Jesus is my friend. Got it? Ready, let's go. Who's your friend? Yes, Jesus is your friend. Let's do it again. Who's your friend? Yes, he is. Wow, isn't it special that Jesus wants to be your friend? And he loves you so much, he'll do all the hard, dirty jobs that nobody else wants to. Let's pray and thank Jesus for being a friend. Let's put our hands together and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you for being willing to do the hard and dirty jobs because you love me so much. Help me to be a good friend like you. And all God's children said, Amen! All right. So, can you remind me, who is your friend? Yes, Jesus is your friend. Oh, there's that stinky bag of garbage. I better go finish cleaning up the room. You know what? I think this week we can all try to be good friends like Jesus. Let's all practice being good friends. We can help our mom and dad or our brothers and sisters. And I have a great way to remember. It's a Bible verse. Let's learn it together, okay? All right. Repeat after me. A friend loves at all times. That's in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. Okay, got it? Let's do it again. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. That was great. Let's do it one more time, and this time, I want you to yell so loud that your neighbors can hear you. All right? Ready, set, go. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. Wow, that was so loud. I think I heard you the whole way at church. That was super. So, remember last month how we were talking that we can be brave super kids because Jesus is with us? Show me your super kids dance. Great. This month, we're going to learn that we can be super friends like Jesus. I'm going to go practice being a super friend now and finish cleaning up for the party. And while I do that, I'm going to listen to some of my favorite songs. If you want to hear them, you can scroll down to the notes below the video and watch them with me. Bye!